Uh, put up Perioni. Uh, tēnā koe, Mr. Tēnā Speaker, koe. tēnā no tātou. Uh, e koutou ngā, ngā manuhiri, e, <coughs> ngā kai, kai rifi o ngā rōpū e i, e hakararangi tia i roto te pire nei, e tū wahi poto tēnei ki te tautoko ngā mihi i mihi ngia tō tātou uh, minita mō ngā take Māori, kia koutou ki te ki te haumai nei i roto i tēnei whare. Nā reira, tēnā koutou. Mr. Speaker, I stand on behalf of uh, New Zealand First and to first of all indicate our support for this bill to go to the Maori Affairs Select Committee. In doing so, Mr. Speaker, we've, uh, we certainly support the intent of it. Uh, the, the fact that this committee has already been in existence for a, a wee while now does beg the question as to why we should have legislation. It also begs the question that there is a clause in the Act that says that the committee, once this Act is passed, is to meet. Now the question that uh, arises for me is what is the the position of those decisions made by the committee leading up to the introduction of this bill. And Mr. Speaker, I have no doubt that during the select uh, uh, committee process, that question will be answered. Mr. Speaker, I think that uh, the uh, Hawke's Bay Regional Council and the respective uh, groups that are that are listed in the Act should be commended for the approach that they have taken to addressing these issues within their, their rohe. And Mr uh, Speaker, it does raise another question for us in New Zealand first. If you consider the, the signals, the intent that government are, are making in regards to the Resource Management Act. And I just wonder whether or not the intended changes to that piece of leg legislation may mean that we are setting up a committee that probably could become toothless, so to speak, in that the very concerns, particularly of the two parties, Tangata Whenua and the Regional Council, the concerns that they have may be removed from the, the original uh, Resource Management Act. And so again, the select uh, committee process is an opportunity for us to hear not only from officials, but for, from the Regional Council and those iwi groups that are listed in this, uh, in this uh, um, bill, Mr. Mr. Speaker. The fact though that this is part of a treaty settlement. I think is, uh, uh, the government needs to be uh, congratulated for uh, accepting this, this process. And I just want to uh, say to our relations in Ngati Kahungunu that uh, we from Te Tai Tokero, and there are a number of us in this house, we seem obliged that we should support our relatives. Albeit that they've left us some centuries ago, left us bereft, and today we're still settling our, our uh, uh, um, treaty claims while you progress. And perhaps you might turn up here, he tukunu mai he aro kia mato te tai tokero, ki hoki mai ki te kainga. Kahatia, kahatia, ko ta mea nui ko tau ke tenei pire, Nā koutou e hihiana kia, kia kite atu te, te haka mano o tēnei pire he, he ture. Nā reira, kia o mātou i roto o Aotearoa tūtai, i tūkahana ki te tautoko tā koutou hihia. Mr. Speaker, again, just a short call, I commend this bill to the House. Uh, Reno Chirikatini.